This is QD Video, brought to you by Room Now Live. Hi, I'm Jack Cush from Room Now. I have a case I'm gonna call, what do I have, doc? It's an interesting one in that it's a 59 year old male who uh, at the end of the summer, we're now here in January, he had a bug bite. Um, two weeks later, three weeks later, he started developing arthralgias in his fingers, maybe a wrist. Um, really nothing else a going to go along with that. When you question him further, you find out he lost 40 pounds recently, but he's been dieting and um, really changing his life. So is that important? Hard to say. He has had some night sweats, but not enough to change bed clothes or change the sheets. He doesn't sleep all that great. He went to his family doctor, was given an, an over-the-counter medicine. He didn't really want to take non-steroidal, so he took turmeric over-the-counter and felt better. Labs were done and he was uh, negative for rheumatoid factor and negative for CCP and he had a normal SED rate. So I've seen the fellow now twice. Um, my initial visit disclosed that he has an oligoarthralgia in a few finger joints and a wrist and not much else. He's got some periarticular pain but really nothing to write home about. He has no carpal tunnel syndrome uh, or carpal tunnel sy uh, symptoms. Uh, he has a negative Durkan's test, if you know what that is. Look it up on uh, on Twitter and Room Now. You'll find out it's the more specific test for carpal tunnel instead of Tunnels and Phelan sign. Durkan, D-U-R-K-A-N. Um, so he has arthralgias, and uh, I treated him with a course of steroids. Doesn't hurt to give a blast of steroids for two or three weeks. Uh, uh, you know, the literature on acute polyarthritis that presents most of those will go into remission most of those will go into remission if you give them a short course of high dose steroids they might have gone into remission without the steroids so i gave the fellow 20 milligrams of steroids for two weeks he stopped he said he felt better during that still had some pains still was taking the turmeric and he comes now back in with some repeat lab tests which all look just great um, so what else would i look for in him I actually did look for parvovirus B19 IgM antibodies. Uh, I did a quantifieron on him. He does some foreign travel. His hep hepatitis serologies were negative. His SED rate was eight. His CRP was undetectable. Uh, his CBC and chem profile were normal. His rheumatoid factor and CCP, as I said, were negative. Would I order those unusual tests for rheumatoid, the CAR-P antibodies or the 1433 ADA? Nah, I don't think so. He's doing well on very little medicine, and the question is, what has he got, and how are you going to manage it? Well, this is my last visit with him because he doesn't have anything. He has sort of intermittent, vague pains. He's had more than 12 weeks of symptoms that have been intermittent, vague, and going nowhere, uh, certainly not escalating, and have no physical findings. You have the obligation, especially with someone who has symptoms going on in more than six weeks, certainly more than 12 weeks, to do an evaluation. And that's what I did, I did a laboratory evaluation. I'm not gonna do an x-ray evaluation. His joint exam is too normal to do that. But I think you're obligated to do an evaluation more than just a quick look-see and some non-steroidals. So again, persistence, um, I think, is, a, is an important indication. Persistence of swelling would clearly change the story, but he has no swelling. Um, and I think it's um, my obligation to um, look for a few other things, swelling, periarticular pain, enthesitis, and an abnormal lab. In the absence of those, um, this is just called arthralgias. I'm gonna quote myself a brilliant quote that I came up with, that I put on Twitter, which said, not all symptoms merit a diagnosis. Some are just evidence of human imperfection. So I told the fellow, take your turmeric. If things get rough, take some more Tylenol. If things persist or get worse, come back and see me. Pretty simple but pretty common. QD videos, hopefully useful lessons from the clinic. See you next time.